on the night of the 7th of November, we took our first solo flight to the hearts of Malaysia. It was a four-month plan and we had two goals. To meet our friends for the first time ever since we met them in almost three years and experience what Malaysia has to offer. Travel from Manila to Kuala Lumpur was around four hours and I had a clear view of the night lights in my city as I depart from it. But I'm not gonna lie, the excitement held me from sleeping knowing my friends are on the other side. And my excitement even went higher when I knew I was already looking at Malaysian nightlights. So we have finally made it to Malaysia and I just got my luggage over here. And now we're about to meet Yuki. Yuki was one of our first friends that we finally met, and I found her waiting for me at the gate. <laughs> and now, our Malaysian chapter officially begins. One of the first areas we visited was an art gallery near my hotel in Kuala Lumpur and here I have witnessed the skills, talent, passion, and culture the Malaysian people have for their artworks. For book lovers, Rex KL of Petaling Street is a must visit. Ranging from older assortment of books, it'll make your inner bell just crave for more than this provincial life. Petaling Street is one of the best places to experience cheap prices and experience local life. And on the right angle, you'll find the second tallest building in the world and currently the tallest in Asia, the Merdeka Tower. Public transport is easy in Malaysia. You can either take one of their buses or book a grab to get a taxi or get on a train and easily go to your destination.
they say if you go to Malaysia, you'll already have a glimpse of the world. Hello there. <laughs> the next day was the time we finally met Fitz. It was a day of eating and brothers hanging out together. I was able to try their Starbucks food menu and their ayam per chick, which was a type of chicken and noodles to my understanding. And it's something I'd enjoy having. They even had this amazing red velvet log cake that made my inner kid smile. And when I say a day of eating, I mean it, cause we ate till our hearts content. It was the perfect food experience. All this experience were just under the world's tallest twin tower, the Petronas Twin Towers of Kuala Lumpur. Unfortunately, since my friends in Malaysia are Muslims, I couldn't invite them for some nightlife so I had to explore Malaysia's bars alone. Given that alcohol is haram, prices for alcohol are a little bit more expensive than the usual, but they still know how to have a chill night that was perfect for my liking. Despite not being able to drink together, we had our own version of nightlife back in the hotel as me and Fitz went in for a dip. On the third day of my visit, I had to say goodbye to Kuala Lumpur as we were moving to the state of Selangor. I had one of the greatest honor of visiting Zoo Negara of Malaysia. Sa 
such a Taurus! Oh my god! <laughs> Together with Yuki's family, Papa Saxobits, Aiden, and Asia, and witness the wildlife of Malaysia. I was even able to see pandas for the first time, named as Zing Zing and Liang Liang. Zunegara is a must visit for animal lovers. From the diversity of wildlife and cleanliness of the place, this zoo is a great escape back to nature. How can we call ourselves Twitch streamer if we won't be live, right? Therefore, on the weekend that we met Kuro, we spent the whole day doing karaoke, and we were live, and the VOD is currently available on our Twitch channel and on YouTube. A quick fun fact back in 2020, me and Yuki used to do Twitch things together, but now we are able to do it face to face while we sing our favorite hits from Taylor Swift and all the other songs that we like to vibe into. Later that day, we had a special moment for our boy Fitz. It was his birthday, so we went to TGIF and got the people there to sing him a happy birthday song. <laughs> But Yay. thank you guys for doing this, whatever this is. Hey guys, they're going to sing about what they Oh no, they're going to sing for you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday! Thank you! <laughs> Happy birthday! Yay! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, fuckers! Embarrassing Fitz! Hey boy! Happy birthday, Fitz! Oh! Our last night in Malaysia was filled with colors, as Twitch streamers touch grass. We met with Chanel and Frosty. Together with Yuki, Papa and Kuro. We walked the night lights of I City.
Our last stop was the Japanese friendly garden that Malaysia has in Shah Alam Selangor. Unfortunately, after all the time spent, reality needs to kick back in and thus starts the end of the chapter of our Malaysian adventure. Aside from the food and culture that we experience, I believe the greatest treasures in this vacation were the moments and memories I finally were able to spend together with my friends. It was almost three year due, and I'm glad after all this time, we finally had this opportunity to meet our brothers and sisters in our neighboring country. Malaysia will always have a place in my heart. And whether you've been thinking of experiencing their cuisine, their culture, or meeting up with someone you know as well, Malaysia has a lot of story and memories to offer you.